What is it like to live abroad in a kimono for one year? Konnichiwa. My name is Aki, I live in Japan. A few years ago, this idea popped into my head and I actually lived in Canada for one year. So what would happen if you wore a kimono overseas even though it's rare in Japan? Today, I'd like to share seven experiences. What would it be like to attend a language school in a kimono? The answer is that even though you'll be complimented for wearing it in a foreign country, it seems strange to Japanese people. The first thing I did in Canada was go to a language school attended by people from all over the world. On the first day, I was so nervous because I was scared of how I would be seen by others. But many people from other countries told me, this is cool, I love your kimono. This made me so happy. However, Apparently, all the Japanese thought, what a weirdo. It's ironic how the Japanese were more judgmental, even though it's part of their culture. What would it be like to work in a kimono? If you wear a kimono, it's obvious that you're Japanese. However, occasionally people think you're Chinese or Korean. I worked as a tea bartender while wearing a kimono. Canadian people were very thoughtful and complimented me on my kimono. Many people came up to me and said, Konnichiwa! Because they could immediately see I'm Japanese. Once I was told, Shit, shit. I wanted to say, I'm not Chinese, but I don't want to offend them, so I said, Shit, shit. What did it be like to go snowboarding in a kimono? People might confuse with a certain famous character. I went snowboarding at Mount Washington on Vancouver Island. Of course, this is my first time ever snowboarding in a kimono. As you can see, it was a terrible snowstorm. I thought it would be cold, but I was wearing kimono coat, so I wasn't that cold. Actually, I was very hot. When I was on my way down, someone yelled something from the lift. I thought someone said, Samurai! or ninja because I was wearing a kimono. However, I listened carefully and I realized that they said Harry Potter! I wanted to say I'm not a Harry Potter, but I didn't want to offend them, so I yelled EXPECTO PATRONA! What would it be like to walk around the park in a kimono? On a sunny day, while I was walking around the neighborhood park, Suddenly, I was surrounded by students from Hong Kong. They knew a lot about kimonos because of anime. They asked me to dress up in a kimono for them, so I did. After that, they said, we want to repay you. Then I was invited to a music party and had a great time with them. In conclusion, you could be a popular person wearing a kimono in the park. What would it be like to run around the city? When I was living in Canada, I was running and jumping on the street like a ninja and biking around the city. It was about the same as if I had done it in Japan. I think in Japan, it would be more likely to be looked at strangely. For example, people tend to avoid me. But I felt that Canadian people are more likely to accept me because, for example, they talked to me and waved their hand at me. What would it be like to go to Niagara Falls in a kimono? What do you think would happen if you went to Niagara Falls in a kimono? Correct, you'd get soaked. Kimono is not like magic cloth, so you'd get wet. But every cloud has a silver lining. We got interviewed by a TV station. This is because we stood out from the crowd because of our soaked kimonos. In conclusion, if you went to Niagara Falls in kimono, you would get wet. But there is also a chance you would get interviewed. What would it be like to do tea ceremony everywhere while wearing a kimono? I made matcha at a park, a river, a house, and a backyard, literally everywhere. What I learned was that doing tea ceremony in a kimono can be a great cross-cultural exchange. I learned how nice it is to just make matcha in a kimono. Many people enjoy watching the authentic kimono style and way of making tea. In conclusion, Doing tea ceremony in a kimono can be a great cross-cultural exchange. I introduced seven experiences that might happen if you wear a kimono overseas. I don't know if you'll try wearing a kimono overseas, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. 
I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.